So let's look at how we might import a secure baseline uh, from somewhere else on the internet, just to kind of see what baselines are out there. And uh, you want to spend a lot of time looking at group policy, figuring out what all the things do. What are all these switches that we have in front of us, right? So I've just done a Google for secure group policy baselines, Windows. And I did a site github.com for the operator. And that's because I want to look on GitHub and see if anybody's dropping, you know, Windows GPOs. And here's one that comes up. We've got several. Okay, I'm just going to choose this first one that we can kind of utilize and see what's up with that. And so here we've got um, policy definitions I see, and that would be all of the ADMX files that we've talked about in a previous video. Uh, we've got the GPO, which has all of the things that uh, we would need for our machine and user folder, right? And so let's go ahead and download all of this. Uh, I would choose code and then in, on Windows, because I don't want to install Git, just download the zip. So take a second and download that zip file. And what I've done is uh, inside of downloads, I renamed it. It was a really long file name and I just renamed it to 123 because I had an error on zipping it because of the length of the path name. So I just gave it a real short zip file name and unzipped it into a folder here. And here's our Windows 10 secure baseline GPO master. So pause the video, get to the point where you have all of that unzipped. And here is essentially everything we saw on the GitHub page. All right, so um, my GP edit group policy right now is all not configured. Take my word for it. Uh, we can go into the first thing we're going to need to do is if we were to just import these GPOs, it would throw an error and say, sorry, these some of these settings aren't available. And so you want to make sure you have all of the ADMX templates that are available that are necessary for this set of group policies to be configured. So I'm going to click into policy definitions and I'm going to just copy all of this inside of policy definitions. And this is really a blunt force move here. Uh, but I'm just going to go in and um, I'm going to attempt to install all of the ADMX files. It'll oh, and I'll overwrite anything that's already there and I'll go ahead and I'll add anything that's not. So I've done a copy and then in another window we're going to go to C, Windows, and it's going to be under Policy Definitions right here. All right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll paste with Control V all of those in there, and it's going to ask if we want to replace files. Um, and in this case, I'll just replace all the files. And it's giving me an issue here. I'm just going to skip for now because I did this one other time, so it may be a little bit different. Um, and so essentially we've replaced everything. We've made sure that this NUS folder is copied in. It should have taken care of that. And we've updated the policy definitions to kind of make sure that we have all of these in the right place for this system. And again, I'm doing this blindly. Like, I don't know what these policies are. This is not a great idea, but it's a good way to learn. Uh, it's a good way to look at, well, what's being configured securely and why. You can go through and ask questions in a minute. Um, okay, so then I would go and I would find out where the GPOs are, those group policy objects, and usually they end up in folders that have this curly brace with this long, unique identifier. And you'll see a folder called Domain Sysvol. Okay, that's pretty uh, common. And here's our machine user and GPT folder. So I'm going to copy those, and I'm going to go to Windows, and I'm going to cut over to System32. We're going to find our group policy folder. And I'm going to just uh, paste over all of these. Control V. We'll replace everything. So now in our machine folder, we've got this registry policy that's 64 kilobytes. So that's a lot of registry settings, right? Once we've done all of that, we jump into our PowerShell and we do our GP update slash force. And this is where it would throw an error if we don't have templates that match the policies. Hopefully we've have everything in place that's necessary to config to make all the configurations. All right, so now we've updated our policy from a secure baseline we found somebody's given us on GitHub. Very nice. And I'll do a GP edit. Again, this is just for local policy and Cyber Patriot competition will be dealing with Active Directory. That's a little different, right? And so here I am under administrative templates. 
and I'll go to all settings. You can see we have a, a wide range of things that have been disabled. And if I scroll down, you can see there's a wide range of things. Do not allow web search has been enabled. Uh, this will allow, this will disable your search bar down here from searching the web. Not bad. Take that. Um, and so uh, do not display the lock screen is enabled. Um, and so is that recommended? If you enable this policy settings, I think we talked about this one, uh, users that are not required to pr press control alt delete before signing in will see their selected tile after locking their PC. Um, and so in this case, it's enabled. But yeah, we've configured a wide range of policies. And again, it would be pretty easy to clear those. I'll show one more thing here. Um, if we go into this uh, thing that I've downloaded from GitHub, just for this one, um, here's that folder. We have um, templates here, and you can see we have policy templates for different operating systems. In this case, I am on Windows Server 2019, so I went into the Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10, and I think this is pretty much what we pulled. Um, so we went to, so this is templates. It's got different ADMX files for um, different versions, whatever you're working with. Uh, but, you know, what I went to was uh, for the ADMX files, I went straight to policy definitions, but there were other ones available. So, yeah, um, great way to learn about group policy. Great way to sort of uh, create you know, anytime you make a change here, you can back that folder up and make it available. Just make sure you've got your ADMX files all together and uh, your group policy configurations together. So I hope that was helpful.